My name is Asad Shingisov. I'm managing partner for Morgan Lewis's Kazakhstan practice, which includes offices in Almaty and Astana. Uh, energy industry is really the driving force of the Kazakhstan's economy because obviously the country is very rich in mineral resources and uh, primarily in oil and gas. So the uh, Kazakhstan was uh, blessed with a good flow of foreign investment since the time of its independence in 1991 when uh, big oil majors like ExxonMobil and Chevron and Total came to country and uh, made significant investments since then into some of the major projects which actually helped develop the national economy. So by far and large, it's still a, a oil-driven economy, but the government is trying to diversify its economy and, and try to weaken its dependency from oil and gas and natural resources. It's a twofold issue. On the, on the one hand, uh, we obviously, uh, the government revenue is um, experiencing uh, pressure and there's a deficit because our oil revenues are down. On the other side, it's, it's a good time, as the Chinese say, uh, may you live in crisis time, uh, it's a good time to diversify and uh, launch the reforms which the government actually started thinking about about some five or six years ago when they tried to uh, promote the legislation creating tax incentives and uh, create a tax-friendly uh, economy. So recent polls indicate that Kazakhstan actually advanced uh, in that direction. It uh, ranked number 41 in the doing business uh, rating uh, worldwide. And uh, overall, the government is, is doing a pretty good job in diversifying the economy and uh, trying to weaken its dependency on oil and gas. Mm -hmm. we, we're very much uh, interconnected with our neighbors, uh, Russia, uh, China, and uh, the recent uh, trend in development is actually creation of the Eurasian Economic Union with Russia and Belarus and Armenia recently joined, which uh, essentially creates a 200 million consumer market. But at the same time, clearly, uh, uh, Kazakhstan is open for developing ties with the European Union, United States, and uh, the recent indication is that the Japanese Prime Minister just visited uh, Kazakhstan two days ago to develop a further cooperation between Kazakhstan and Japan. The same applies to Korea and uh, other, other nations. And I think a lot of that is, will, be, will be and is related to infrastructure developments. Uh, uh, there will be, and all of these projects will require a lot of financing. So we're talking about capital market with debt capital market financing, uh, bilateral financing. And in addition to that, you need things like EBC contract power purchase agreements. So all of that is in, is in the works. It's coming.